I always love seeing these little trailers in the shows. I wish we could just do this and let it all be in there. <laughs> that would be so Hello. Hello. Okay, so it is the end of day two set up here at the we're at the grounds the grounds that's what it is that's where we are in mobile alabama mobile alabama this is the first time we have done this show it really is and it's a big one it is huge it's, uh, i haven't even walked around yet mm -hmm. but it's um it's pretty good size and there are a lot of goodies so we are going to have to find an opportunity to do a walkabout it's going to be a sunday thing because i understand friday's going to kick our butt yeah, I think we might try to do at least a little filming before we leave because I have a feeling most of these booths are not going to have much left. That's probably true. Mm -hmm. I'd kind of like to see them, so it'll be nice to walk around. Yeah, so we'll try to filter some of that through the next couple of days. Oh, really pretty. A refined farmhouse. Yes, that's what it looks like. It looks very much like a refined farmhouse. Um, once again, same glory from the same place, so it does look different, but ultimately we're carrying the exact same things, so this is why we chose to um, mix it up a little bit, because you can't compete when all is the same. So again, this is Vintage Market Days. It is a three-day event. So we got Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, that's three days. Um, before we get started too much on what we're expecting here, let's do a wrap-up for... Our last week in Perry. Mm -hmm, because we didn't do our wrap-up video. We've been busy. Yeah, and honestly, we were just tired. We It took us five hours to pack up. We weren't the last one to leave, so there is that. that. Yeah, so we second to last, third to last. We still have a lot to do on figuring out the right systems as we exit. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're Unpacking has gotten a lot. Oh my better. goodness! Unpacking and setting up mm -hmm. yesterday was easy peasy. It was lovely. Yeah, and if I had had everything tagged before we got here, today would have gone pretty fast. That's probably true. But you know, we were only home for two days, and stuff came while we were gone. So, so we just, the, it in we the just back. yeah, rather than open all of those, we just threw them in and figured we'd do them tossed here. Tossed it in the back, realized we needed more stuff, and we just started grabbing things and tossed it in the yeah. back. Yeah, so we're pretty full here. We have... Pretty full. She says we're pretty full. I've seen other booths. I feel like we were very empty. Really? I've seen other booths that are, are just jam-packed. Jam-packed. I feel like we have a lot a lot of smalls oh we've got a lot of smalls i think we've got a, a wonderful variety of, of all kinds of things like if you look across the way we have more than it. oh well yeah i mean yeah i am so digging all of this you know they're not going home with any of this i mean there are some people that have a lot of the same thing in their booth yes and then there are people that have really quality stuff but space to roll around yeah so but there's all kinds of stuff here i feel very good about our setup yes oh my gosh i think we look good i think we do so we did get our four booths here and as a bonus um we got an extra, extra either half a booth another another half a booth because she didn't put like she miscounted how many we're close spaces to the air handler for the air conditioning hallelujah yay for so the first two days we needed it so we are we didn't have it 45 feet long yeah well, that's pretty big and i'm 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 wiped out walking back and forth back and forth yeah and it's... the sad part is i did not have my pokemon in my pocket to be walking back. i should have brought my pokeball should have. people remind me these things so it's really long and we will give you a tour and so here is a flyby of our booth and when i say it is long man i mean it's long we're we are finally at the end of it so we are all the way down to those are our carts standing in front of our cash route 
it's crazy. Oh, we still didn't wrap up Perry. So. Oh yeah, Perry. Perry. So on the last day, it was a surprise. Last day was a surprise? Last day was a surprise. The, la the last day I didn't spend a lot of time at the booth, but. That's right, I forgot about that. I didn't know about the surprises. It, it, it sounded ka -chingy, ka chingy So we did get some online sales and I did not pull them out of the day because that gets too confusing. So there, this is, not all of this came from the booth, but we did about $1,200 on Sunday. Did we really? We did. Well, that's a good Sunday. It, it is, an, I mean, that's like a Sunday diamond, that's like a diamond D Sunday. A couple Sunday. hundred or something. But yeah. Uh, so last year it we did. It was busier on Sunday. I last year we did, year. we did 800 on Sunday. Yeah, and we so we definitely did better. And so that puts us right about 6,500 for. Which is not a bad weekend. For the weekend. And it's not. It's a little I bit mean, more like a spring weekend. Again, we were very spoiled last year. We were. We I mean, were very spoiled and we just want that spoilage to go on and on and on. Right. Uh, I was told ticket sales were about the same as last year. So we've been kind of reviewing things and we did some change ups for this market. A little bit, a little bit stuff different. One of the things that we've noticed is while we've, you know, always talked about greenery and I view it to be super important. It seems that both at Perry and at this market, many of the vendors are carrying the same greenery. There, there are some huge greenery vendors here. Okay, so this is another booth. This, these were actually, these people were actually at Perry um, and they, they have quite a large booth as well. But you see, they sell many of the same things that we do as far as the, the greenery. We carry the same greenery um, and similar bottles. So, you know, really the only, like we have this right now in our booth. So the only thing that we can, you know, when you're, that you can compete on when you're carrying the same items is to compete in price. And that's not really where we like to be. And so this is not the same greenery that we buy but it is lots more greenery loving the trees in the back um they are just cut off and attached to these doors really creates a cool atmosphere in here yeah and there were at perry as well so when you get a a, a couple or more booths that are just jam-packed full of greenery mm -hmm. We need to stand out. Right, so we switched up the way, like the overall setup. We did bring some furniture this time because we had it and we felt this was the market to sell at. This one in Naples, because they're very coastal. And honestly, we needed the fill up space. We did, because we have a really big booth. And I'm gonna say the booth looks better with furniture. Oh, I, I like having the furniture in the booth and I'll be excited when somebody buys it. So, so we're gonna rethink whether we wanna have no furniture. We definitely need to have lighter furniture. I think we need no to have more furniture. 70s repainted. And and if I if I heard correctly when we were speaking with people today, uh, people want in Perry, they don't want the country style furniture that most people have been selling. So I'm thinking do they want the more modern traditional kind of stuff maybe? probably traditional so i think i think springtime we're going to look different in perry okay okay so this is super cute even their choice of lighting for their booth which i'm sure will be lit tomorrow this is a retro chic absolutely fantastic and the bright pink hoosier cabinet in the back pink, pink. did i say pink yellow did I mention it's been a long few days? The bright yellow Hoosier cabinet in the background is to die for. One of the big things that I talk about in my coaching group is that you cannot um, do better if you're not analyzing and tracking what you're doing. Yeah. So one of the reasons that we do this video is to get you thinking differently about what's happening and how to, like, if you're not having a good week, why is that? Take a look at all the different factors. It's why we break down overall ticket sales and things like that. You gotta be willing to, to, to change your pace, move mm -hmm. your move your beat. You gotta, you gotta, gotta change it up. Yeah.
And here's a quick reminder that you can follow us on all social media at Vintage Bee Design. And we have a community in Facebook called Creating the Hive or Creative Con Vintage Bee. And I have just started a coaching group. Membership is only $20 a month in the description below. Let's get back to crafting. Yep. So we are, we are constantly thinking how to do better. And hopefully we've made some good changes for this one, even so. though we've never done it, just based on what happened at Perry and what we've seen coming in and heard from other people. So yeah. you think you'll see some of those changes in the booth. Um, we are still heavy greenery, but we have gone to some new vendors for greenery. Yes, we have. That came in right before we left. Thank goodness. Yes. And again, and we've already sold a big chunk. That's true. We, some, one of the other vendors came and bought 10 stems, <laughs> 10, 10 large uh, hops stems. The hop stems this year? Oh, very nice. I probably didn't order enough. Probably need to get more for the next bucket. Yep. So this is Julie's booth. She Ooh, used to bomb, man. Sorry about that. She used to own Vintage Market Days in Jacksonville. She sold that I think two years ago. So really fantastic. Oh, those look mighty familiar. Ooh, she's got good taste. We have those kitties. I love this up here. That's fabulous. Oh, these are all real cute. I like how Julie has it all set up. Super adorable. These snowmen down here, I really like these snowmen. Goals for this market. So we didn't make the goals for Perry, but for this market, I am going to hold tight to what we did in Perry, to what I wanted, wanted to, to do in Perry. And I think we, we are, are definitely, for this market, I think we are going to hit closer to your mark from everything people have been saying. Yeah, so my goal for this market, um, really probably for most markets going forward because of the overall goal that I have for the year. And if you missed that, go back and check out the, the, the first video of this of the market season. She's making me work, man. That's so, it's so hard. Making me work. I am making myself work too. Yesterday we were so sweaty because there was no AC in here that it looked and felt like we jumped into a swimming pool. Uh, it was. It was. Oh, it was like it walking was, in a shower all day long. It I was. Just, I was just pouring off of me. It was 108 degrees in Alabama and no AC, and we were here for. 10 hours? No, not that long. No, we, were, we were here for a good long day. Yeah, it was and the major like heat of the day. Yeah. And they didn't have the air blowing. All the doors were open. And everybody here was just good. I mean, we accomplished a lot. But, but we survived. But boy, we were. I mean, it was definitely drink a lot um, through the day. Stay yes. hydrated. And take breaks. Water. And Got take my breaks. Water cooler going. And we brought the little Royobi fan, and so we would take a break with the oh, with the battery yeah. operated fan on it's us. Very handy to have a fan. Yes. Um, okay. So our goal here is going to be low end goal is going to be ten. High end goal. Oh, I thought that was our high end. That's our low end. Okay. Low end goal ten. High end goal is thirteen. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going home empty. I would love to go home empty. It would scare me a little for the next market, but... We got two weeks to get that one prepared. Mm -hmm. We'll be home for two weeks, It'll be so. nice. It'll be nice to be home for two weeks. Here's another cute booth of painted furniture and vintage and thrifted and upcycled and all that stuff. I think, uh, I think it'll be good. So we'll give you a wrap up on, on Sunday and uh, see where we're at. Yep, and we'll keep you posted day by day to let you know how we do. And then we'll take a walk around and just yeah. show you. So if you're anywhere in the greater Mobile area, come on down this weekend. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right, let's go walk about. We're going to walk about? I'm going to walk about. Oh man, they're singing my name. Check out this coat. And look at all the shiny bobbles. Boing, da -da ding, ding, ding. Oh no, this is, wow, look at all those beads. Stunning. Great staging too. 
how fabulous. Absolutely exquisite staging. This booth right here is you all day long. Not the deer head, but otherwise, if you wanted to capture my style, this is this is, you. this is it. I do like a smidge more color, but girly, feminine, French, what? French, love, love, love. Really fabulous. Got some good stagers in here. And just so you can get an idea, this is a whole other building. Wow. This is really pretty. Very nicely staged again. There are some exceptional staged booths at this market. I feel like they're going to do very well. I love the simplicity and the color blocking in this booth. So they have this beautiful green set and then another green section behind it and then lots of green um, glassware throughout. And that pop of gold is really nice and then you come over here and you've got a lot of the yellows it's really striking and this is their booth also and look at you know the color blocking and the beautiful display of vintage halloween orange and all of the white pottery and i do the note of the name of it but right now my braid is mush and i cannot think of what it's called so somebody comment below and remind me I feel like I have suddenly been sent to like Illinois or Ohio, somewhere in the, in the middle north, I guess, in whatever part of the country that's considered. But that's what it feels like to me. It feels rustic and homey, like it's going to be a true fall with falling leaves. Simple and beautiful, um, color blocked. This is definitely a farmhouse style booth everything is off-white winter white shall we say um, these are really cute trees these come from the same place that we buy our greenery chances are this greenery is from the same place as well but it is it's a really lovely booth love their blue backdrop really pretty simple candlesticks it's all very nice it does look like they are hand turned possibly or at least un unpainted and then painted so that it's a very consistent look with the same weight throughout oh my gosh this is fantastic love 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 so this is some serious architecture for a show like this. You've got to have a couple people to be able to set up something of that awesomeness. But these big pieces of furniture, chandeliers, pergola, it's pretty striking. So this vendor is always at VMD Jacksonville and they have so much in the way of vintage or retro vintage, I'm not sure, but it's always fantastic. And they have a really unique structure, which is why we always know it's them. So if you want to get, if you want people to know where you are, think of ways that you can stand out so they always know where to find you. And these blow molds are fabulous. This girl's got to make some money at this event so I can buy some stuff. More greenery, which is lovely, but like we said, it's also lots of competition. Oh my gosh, can you see that dog? 
Oh, he's so funny. I do love it. Really nice. Very striking face. Okay, I just found my favorite booth, maybe ever. They're called Paper Dolls. And look at this. It's all made from like books and stuff. This is, this is like magic. I mean, it is. It's, it's spectacular. And like, holy cow. This is look at these bumblebees oh my word i'm gonna have to come and get one of those tomorrow i just can't not do it this maybe is my favorite booth i've ever seen this is we're gonna put it on youtube i hope that's okay get lots of people coming out awesome so awesome. We've been admiring the structure from across the way because oh, no. we've seen it go no up. Were, we had no had. idea what paper dolls was. This is better than anything that I could have dreamed up. Look at this mouse. This is, wow. If you can find this, I am totally looking this up on social media. This is amazing in every way yeah i think i need some of these also look at them 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 unbelievable I hope you enjoyed today's video we will be doing a daily wrap-up of our market event and if you did love this content please be sure to hit like subscribe and share it really helps